first off, guys, congratulations on, on the film. Oh, uh, good. It's fan- fantastic. Uh, I can imagine all of the elements, be it the script, Roger, Rachel, and everyone else, it must have been an easy thing for you guys to say to say yes to. Absolutely. Yeah. It was. It really was. Um, yeah, your first protocol in any job uh, usually is, is a script, you know. And, um, and this was just a particularly good screenplay. It was just, you know, very, very intriguing from first read. And it's very much an actor's piece you know I think it's um, it's all about the performances and the, the subtlety of the psychology a psychological thriller and it was a page turner it was it was a really good first read yeah it is one of those stories where I when I was watching it you, you really don't know even at the end what's happened what has you know what's transpired and everything else was it the same for you guys that you weren't you kind of weren't aware or you prefer not to know the, the real answer if you like well, I mean, I kind of, I, I couldn't help but think I'd made my decision up from reading the book, and that didn't, I mean, Roger's screenplay stays so true to the novel in terms of tone and plot and also the, um, like, character psychology that I couldn't help but take that through to the final film with me. But, uh, I mean, I'm still open to mm-hmm. it. I mean, it's interesting because everyone does think something differently. I felt like it was quite clear what I felt from reading the novel. But, you know, today there's been everyone that comes so in thinks something different, has a different reaction. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah. it's entirely, entirely con- conscious of, of Du Maurier that that's what she she wanted to create there in lies the suspense views. As an audience, as a reader, as a viewer, you think, what on earth, why, what is going on? And, and you try and decipher it. Mm. But you said something earlier that I, th- I, th- I think is true. Maybe the truth, and, you know, maybe it's a slightly half-baked answer, but that um, you know, she probably had a bit of both in her, and she wasn't she wasn't um, guilty of the worst of crimes, and she wasn't you know. I, uh, uh, but uh, you know, it's all in the eye of the beholder, and 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 the com- point comes where people really really demonise her. You know, maybe she wasn't poisoning, maybe she you bit maybe you know you can sort of maybe you can subconsciously manipulate somebody to to give things to you if you're in a financially, you know, vulnerable mm. position. So, but it's not, it's not so black and white, but maybe it's a kind of gray area and maybe that's... Mm. Not, and then that becomes like a question of questioning people's own morals and morals of the time of like, if there is a guilty or innocent, why are you deeming that guilty or mm. innocent? Mm. Of a, kind of a, um, you know, of kind of, you know, even her just being a sexual being at the time could have been, she could have been guilty of that, but it's like, you know. That's right. What uh, does, is that a sin? Yeah, is that a sin? What was it like being with, I spoke to Sam before and he was saying about how much fun it was to work with you guys, but also with Rachel as well and their relationship, but we, you two are obviously very kind of encircled that. Mm. What was it like to see them kind of sparring off of each other and you guys in the middle of that as well? It was really special, you know, because a lot of the, the heart of the movie is really their relationship and um, and scene by scene, there's such a, such a variety of quality in it. And, um, it, you know, it, it, you have to be really, really sensitised to it as, as actors, not to, to overcook it, not to undercook it, to try and get the quality of each scene without overdoing it and to work off each other. And it was lovely being, there was quite a few scenes where we were there in a sort mm. of react, a more reactive role and seeing them work and yeah, just great admirers of, of both of them. I thought they, they portrayed it brilliantly. I thought your character in particular, I thought she was the one that was going to maybe s- snap more than anyone else because of her kind of her jealousy and everything mm. else. So I thought maybe towards the end it was her that was going to be the one that did something. Mm. So that was that was my yeah, takeaway anyway. Yeah. But again, it's so un- it's so unpredictable. It reminded me a lot of like Hitchcock. I know her movies have been made by Hitchcock in the mm. past. It was very much like that and yeah. keeps yeah. everybody. It's guessing. true, you know. But I, you know, I don't know. But maybe part of the reason you thought that it was because part of you wanted her to succeed because she was a, so certainly a character that I looked at when I saw the film and thought, you know, Philip, just look her way because there's, there's a good match, you know. You actually have a, a similar upbringing, similar background. She's very beautiful. She's sort of, she's always got, she's loved you from a very early age and that you would have a good match if you could only see it. So if you imbue it with that and you feel that as an audience, then maybe you... you Mm. You want her to do that at the end. You want her to make it all right for her because you're sort of, again, you're projecting onto them. I don't know. And part of the film is a bit it's about what you present, what you project and what you restrain. Mm. And uh, Rachel obviously uh, presents certain things and people are questioning that. And, you know, Louise does too. She obviously feels, you know, love for Philip and jealousy for Rachel, but she's she's got a degree of self-restraint in that and patience. But, uh, and, but how much is she showing and how much is she holding back? It's like it's it's... Uh, it's kind of these delicate questions that the audience mm. start reading into and asking. Yeah, I think it is one that will split everybody, but in a good way. Yeah, a good yeah. One. yeah. Thank you so much for your time, guys. It's pleasure. been an absolute pleasure. Thank Cheers. you so much. Cheers, mate.
ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!